Hi everybody, um, it's Sarah again. I'm here to talk to you about something that everybody loves. Everybody loves s'mores, right? But sometimes it's just not okay to go outside and build a fire and make some s'mores. Sometimes you have a blizzard, sometimes it's raining, sometimes you're just really too lazy to do it. So I'm going to show you a nice little quick way to get your s'mores fixed in in no time. We're going to use our Rock Crock Everyday Pan. That's this guy, okay? Don't let it fool you. This rock crock is a rock star. It can be used in the microwave, on the stovetop, under the broiler, in the oven, in the dishwasher, on the grill. You can put it in your fridge, in your freezer. It also comes in um, two other sizes. This is our medium size. I'm using it today because the s'mores cake that we're gonna make just looks prettier in the medium size. But we have the smallest size is a two quart. And our largest size is our four quart Dutch oven. Now this one I use practically most every day, probably four times a week. I use this all the time. I make chicken fajitas in here, barbecue chicken tacos. Um, I make meatloaf. I can do a whole chicken in here in the microwave and it's fabulous. I can do um, chicken tortilla soup in here. It's an awesome pot that you will get a ton of use out of. So, first things first, for our s'mores cake, um, very simple. It is about a half of a box of just devil's food cake mix, one egg, and eight ounces of sour cream. I'm going to use my measure all cup and pop that in there. And then, just going to mix it up and pop it in the rock crack. Okay, so this looks all mixed up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop it into our rock crack and spread it out. This is going to get baked in the microwave and it's going to take four and a half minutes. You heard that right. Four and a half minutes. Okay, so while that's cooking, the next step that we're going to do is to go ahead and crunch up some graham crackers for our cake because that is a must for a s'mores cake. So if you ever have some frustration that you need to get out, the food chopper is probably a great tool for you. You're going to go ahead and take your food chopper, put it right on top of the food that you want to chop, and just... Chop it up. So this is great for carrots, onions, any kind, anything basically. Nuts, anything that you need to get chopped up. Every time you press the handle, it actually moves a quarter turn so it gives you a nice even chop all the way around. And when you want to wash it, you just pop it in the dishwasher just like that. It comes apart nicely. You can get a good sanitary clean on it. Okay, cake is done. So we're gonna take this out. See the steam rising off of it, so good. And then I have some Hershey's, so I'm just gonna pop these in our small batter bowl and melt them up so we can drizzle some more chocolate onto our chocolate s'mores cake. chocolate is all melted and ready for drizzling in just a minute. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and top this cake with marshmallows. Alright, this is going to go under the broiler for just about a minute to get it nice and toasty. Eight minutes up and oh, there's our toasted marshmallows. Okay, graham cracker crumbs. This is one of our flexible cutting mats. So I'm just gonna curve it in and sprinkle. Okay, and then 
comes the drizzle. So that is our chocolate s'mores cake done in under six minutes. All right, here it is, the final result, chocolate s'mores cake deliciousness. Um, check it out. Now, if you want a piece, you're going to have to make your own because this one is all mine. <laughs>